Folks, as I mentioned last night was the Democratic debate in South Carolina. And one moment that really stood out to me was when Elizabeth Warren was asked to name a common misconception about herself. And she answered like this. I suppose one misconception is that I don't eat very much. In fact, I eat all the time. Fascinating. <laughs> now, I had heard the rumors that Senator Warren consumes food. So, I recently flew down to my hometown of Charleston, South Carolina, to meet up with the Democratic candidate and teach her a little about South Carolina cuisine. Jim? Senator, thanks for talking to me today. Welcome to South Carolina. Thank you. Obviously, you're here to get to the hearts and minds of the South Carolinians. To get to a South Carolinian's heart, you have to go through their stomach. Okay, that's the contents the of which will eventually lodge in their heart. Okay? <laughs> Are you prepared for South Carolina food? Uh, I'm prepared. Okay. I'm ready. It's very rich. Okay. You're going to want to tax it. Okay. I mm -hmm. love it. I love it. Um, You've said, and I, correct me if I'm wrong, you've said that you're a fan of fast food. Uh huh. Are there any ways in which you are not like Donald Trump? Um, I, yes, I read books, I, uh, mm. uh, I care about people. Okay, so there are a couple reasons. Yeah, a couple, a couple, a couple ways you're different. Mm -hmm. Okay, now being president of the United States, as far as I can tell, is um, like being the person ordering for everybody at a restaurant. Uh -huh. If you're the appetizer orderer in chief, what are you getting for America? What are we going with? Potato skins? Are we oh, yeah. going diversity potato with jalapeno skins. Oh, no, poppers? No, no, no. I like the potato skins with cheese and bacon and then sour cream to dip in. Mm -hmm. And is this why you want universal health care? Because that will kill everybody in their tracks? And you need universal health care after those potato skins. Okay, yep. good. Yep. Let's uh, have two bourbon and whatever the senator wants. Oh, <laughs> um, I'll try one of what he's having. Okay, great. All right, Senator, this is some of our local food down here in Charleston, South Carolina. Are you, do you like oysters? Yeah. Do you like oysters? Okay, so here are... Yeah. These are just raw. Right. I'm going to put just a little raw. horseradish on mine. horseradish, okay. Uh-huh. I'll just slurp it down. Uh-huh. Mmm. It's like eating the ocean if the ocean was congested. <laughs> I doubt you've had this before. Have you ever had a boiled peanut? I don't think so. It's peanuts, so it's very fatty. Mm -hmm. But unlike anything else on this table, it balances that out by being extremely salty at the same oh, time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know how um, everybody loves crunchy, salty peanuts. Uh huh. Boiled peanuts. Ask the question: What if they didn't? <laughs> South Carolinians are only people in the world who looked at a peanut and said, "What if it was damp?" <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. Now, um, what's your favorite state so far? Uh, uh, all of them. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. You no. Know, that's very Come equitable on. of you. What's your favorite child? I think it'll probably be Larry. <laughs> be my son, Larry. <laughs> nope, no. Nope. He knows I love him most. That's right. I love you, Larry. Uh -huh. They're the all... other ones are great. The other ones are great. Don't get me wrong. They're, yeah. Larry's really special. Larry's the one. I, I call Larry the South Carolina of my children. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Now, we were talking billionaires before. Uh huh. I want to play a little uh, How Well Do You Know the Billionaires that you're going to take away their money? Mm hmm. Okay. You're looking to tax some billionaires, maybe take them out of the political equation here because they have too much power. Yep. But to do that, we need to know that you know them, okay? Here's what I'm going to do. Okay. We're going to play this little game if you're okay with it. Okay. You don't look at the photo. I'm you not. hold it up. I'll describe the billionaire to you and see if you can tell me which one it is. Okay. So that one to the camera. Okay. Okay. Show it to the camera. Uh, <clears throat> um, it never shows emotion. Um, looks like he cut his own bangs with uh, toenail clippers. Um, uh, 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 Bill Gates. Uh, no, no. Uh, knows everything about you. Um, is willing to. Zuckerberg. Yes. That's it. It. perfect. Perfect. Okay. There you go. Oh, uh, oh, like the underbelly of a hairless cat. Um, oh, of course, he, that's so many. Uh, like Lex Luthor, but he knows more about you and he's less trustworthy. Oh, Bezos. Bezos, exactly right. He's spending so much money on this election that right now this might actually be a commercial for him and we don't know it. Uh, Mike Bloomberg. Yes. Okay. I cannot begin to tell you where he got his money or, or why he's wearing that tie. Uh, I'm not entirely. Tom Steyer. Yes, okay. Uh, he's a talking waterfowl. Uh, he swims in a basement full of gold coins. Um, he wears a top hat. Um, he's, a, he's owned by Disney. He's, um, uh, pass. Pass. Scrooge McDuck. Oh my God! 
gosh, it's Scrooge. Oh, you should. He does the backstroke and the, uh, and the gold coins. If only I'd known. Of Sorry. course it's Scrooge oh, McDuck. Okay. He doesn't wear pants. No, he doesn't wear pants. Got which it. Which I think is a billionaire thing. It may be. Regardless of who the candidate is, do you think the Democratic Party will unite? It is essential that we bring our party together for 2020. We can't have a repeat of 2016. We can't go into this mm -hmm. with one part of the party mad at the other part of the party and shooting back and forth. We've got to bring everybody together and we've got to recognize that where we really need to focus our energies, we've got to beat Donald Trump. How many debates have you guys done now? 139. <laughs> Good. Which moderator is the most aggravating on a scale of Chuck to Todd? Uh, you got it. <laughs> South Carolinians and Southerners in general pride themselves on being very polite. Mm -hmm. If someone down here says something uh, dumb or um, uninformed, uh -huh. we might just say, bless your heart. Right. Bless your heart. I got it. I got, you got it. it. I think I'm ready. All right, you ready for bless your heart? I think your... I'm ready. Okay, good. Okay, good. Donald Trump definitely learned his lesson from the impeachment. <laughs> bless your little heart. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Now, let's imagine that I'm a billionaire and these ribs are my money. Uh huh. Okay, I want all of my money. Yes. It's my money. They're yes. my ribs. Yes. I don't want anyone else to have any of my ribs. Right. How many of my ribs would you take away? Uh, it's like a little corner. Right off the edge there. That much? Not much. No, no. But that's the I'll best part. That that's back. the best part. That's the, that's the that burnout. Part back. That's so tasty. Just now that I part. want that part. That part. And you now know what I, that part would do? That. Give that's, me that. Come on. <laughs> that's universal child care, you jerk. Here. That's no. I'm going to lick them all. Now I'm going to lick all I'm going to lick all the ribs so no one else can have any you ribs. You know what? We'll take it anyway. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. That's Fine. cancellation of student loan debt for 43 million Americans. I'm doing this. Stuck with the delicious taste of universal child care, we headed down to the bar for a drink with the voters of South Carolina. What do you drink? What's your poison? Michelob Ultra. Michelob Ultra. Coming right up. People of South Carolina, what 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 is your greatest concern this this political season? Just making sure that we can get Trump out of the White House. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, that's I'm good. For that. That's I'm sound. For that. You want to do that? Let's beat Donald Trump. You ready? Let's do it. I'll have one of those, too, then. I'll have one of those, too. Are you sure you can handle I, it? I don't know. We'll find out. All right. You ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> that, that it's is... the club soda and beers. Do you know... Do you know the joke? No. About uh, what's... Um, why is Michelob Ultra like making love in a canoe? No. Because they're both <laughs> close to water. Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. Uh. Thank you, Senator Warren. We'll be right back with Jason.